Hello folks and welcome back once again to Let's Play Civ 5 with Doc Raven. Hello. So, uh, I have no idea where we actually last left off. <laughs> I was going to do last when we left off. This is what we were doing. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. All I remember is that I fudged up and we lost footage on the fa last uh, <laughs> last half an hour. Oh, that's what happened. We were beating uh, Attila into a bloody pulp. Who still doesn't want to accept surrender. Yeah, he, Not he, without York going. Yeah, he just doesn't get it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's, that's what we were thinking about. We uh, were thinking about maybe taking the fight to him now that we'd finished mathematics and get, uh, get the catapults so we can ah, uh, yes. just pom pommel Attila's court into submission. That sounds like a good plan. I've just gotten into a golden age. Ah, nice. Yes. So, um, what tech are we going to go for? Uh, good question. Uh, what's the tech tree looking like? Jeez, hmm. so many good options. There is. Um, I don't think neither of us need the Petra. Nah, that's that's kind of off the table. Uh, I mean, if we want to go offensive, I think we should t uh, take either horseback riding or iron working, just to get some um, melee units to take the cities. Um, I I wouldn't mind going iron working. Yeah, okay, okay, let's go with that. Cool. Because then I can try and get the colossus up as well. And uh, that's actually work, works out better because I can just upgrade my old warriors. I uh, don't need to start building from scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. Uh, I I found the illness. Awesome. Oh, nice. I I am going to so make a trade route with him right now mm -hmm. from Berka or Helsinki. Mm -hmm. That's like the the easiest choice I've ever made. <laughs> Yeah, that would actually be a good choice for me as well, from York to... Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, we can easily patrol that with like two triremes and keep exactly. it keep it clear. I'll just get my um, English ship on the go. Mm. <laughs> oh, and it's uh, it's friendly and it's mercantile, so if, uh, if we uh, uh, befriend them, we'll get jewelry and whales. Awesome, I need whales. That works out perfect. Right. Cool. Awesome. We still haven't found the two people who are leading. Yeah. Well, I wonder where they are at. So. And uh, how much uh, city spam they've been uh, been up to on whatever. Yeah, especially as they're together. Mm. Oh, we found... Um... Yep. Awesome. Uh, that. That's a good tile. Great barrier reef. Oh yes. Ah, Vilnius. So if, if you weren't so uh, lucrative of a trading partner, I would probably want to take over that land. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm seeing half of the map uh, for that uh, that city, and it still looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Although it wouldn't actually reach the barrier reef. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I think it might be a decent city location to uh, settle that Jutile wide island just uh, south of Athelas Court, actually. Mm hmm. We'll see. Not one for me, I don't think. I, I, I think I've, I've already got four cities. I'm planning my fifth. I think that's going to be me sorted after that. Yeah. We'll see. I don't want to uh, starve myself of happiness either, mm -hmm. so. Exactly. And you're going to have, what, another two cities minimum? Yeah, minimum. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Waiting on the computer. Mm, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Att Attila is computing. How long can, can I keep this bluff up? <laughs> Um, I don't have much to do. Really want to get 
bombarded by uh, by the city, so I'll just uh, rummage around over there. What I really need to do is um, find something that's going to make me money. <laughs> oh right, that yeah, that was the uh, the issue with you right now. Mhm. Mm because yeah. as soon as I build a couple of these lighthouses, does do lighthouse improve fish tiles? I don't know if they do. Uh, I it's think it you gold. Give, gives you production or food for every fish tile. Or uh, like just a every water tile. I don't uh, know one one plus one food and one production, so no extra money. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think it's uh, is it harbor then that gives you b bonus to the uh, possibly. Income? I'm pretty certain that there is a building that gives you bonus income for water-based uh, resources or just water tiles, one, mm. either one or the other. Yeah. Then again, this game has gone through so many uh, rule changes and uh, uh, reworkings that. <laughs> Whatever I might, I'm remembering might just be poppycock. <laughs> it has certainly changed a hell of a lot since I first got it. Mm. For the better. True, definitely for the better. They have been steadily polishing this up to a uh, real gem. Mm -hmm. It started as a bit of like a coal clump. So I didn't find it that bad, but it was my first ever sieve, so... Mm. My star-studded eyes were not um, adapt to what a game like this should have been. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's... yeah. Yeah, I thought they may end up reaching one of them. That, that definitely does look like a city, city placement for me. That's... Mm. Uh, a tile. I mean, two uh, separate uh, atolls, one f uh, fish resource, some uh, stone, and uh, both the uh, Great Barrier Reefs within my reach. Yep. That that's, if, that's if Villainous doesn't get it first. Uh, I don't think it's going to go for it, since it can't uh, make use of it. Oh, right, but it can for the other one. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> damn you, Villainous. Damn you. Unless you go out there very quickly. Nah, I <clears throat> doubt I'll be able to manage that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still a bit of a gamble, considering that Attila is roaming about the place. And it's doubtful that it'll send any units around here, but still. I just love how protected York is at the moment. <laughs> yeah, come at us, bro. <laughs> And hopefully we'll get longbowmen soon, so... Oh, I love longbowmen so much. Yeah, they are kind of... Like, they are kind of OP. <laughs> yeah. For, for that moment in the game. Like, the the range is so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Even when you move them on to, like, machine guns, it's still... It's not great, but it's still better than the normal range. Malaka seeks a natural wonder. I just found two. Oh no! God damn you! <laughs> Stupid city states. Right. Ah. I've got a bit of a. Hmm. I think we are all done exploring in the north, so I'll start bringing this warrior back down south. I wonder if I can upgrade within your borders. Interesting question. I don't know. Yeah. Um, probably not. Hmm. Just putting it out there, most likely not. So you do need to get another settler on the go soon. Yeah. I'd give you the money, but I'm barely scraping by as it is. Oh, I I got uh, I got the spare cash. It's just uh, I'd rather not spend loads and loads of turns moving my units to bear cart just to get upgraded and then start moving moving out at Hila. Although I still have to build the uh, catapult or two mm -hmm. to even try and take the city. I wonder if he's changed his mind yet. Probably not. Because Most likely not. AI is kind of dumb like that. 
often. It's probably it's just because he's um got his Maria um yeah. person wherever they are. Yeah, that's true. It's probably since they are in the same team, it's counting their units as one or something weird mm -hmm. like that for the peace deals. Yeah. But then he should see that we've got three units between us. He should be terroring in his <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> But then again, it kind of feels like the AI does try to bluff a bit. Like, e even if they are reeling and completely unable to defend themselves, until you start sieging a city, they just don't. Ah, he's come to me with a peace deal. And as soon as I said, what will make this deal work, he asked for York. It's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the air for you. Yeah. yeah. And now I have iron, finally. So now I can upgrade both of my, uh, both of my warriors to uh, swordsmen as soon as we get the iron working done. Nice. Good. I'm now at plus three gold, so I'm happy. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I am building a caravan between Nottingham and Ormus, so that will help a lot. Oh yeah, that'll boost you at least five gold mm. a turn. Pro um, possibly more if you're lucky. Oh, That's and uh, I'm actually going to get the... Uh, ah, no. It's 300 uh, faith you need for your first great profit. Ah. Not 200. Crap. I was, I was f uh, fully expecting to. Yay, I can get a religion going. Nope. <laughs> 20 <laughs> more turns. Not yet. No, 22 actually, but still. Unless I happen to get some faith magically from somewhere. You never know, you may find a city state. Mm, that wouldn't be a bad turn of events, definitely. There's a goodie hut there as well, next to Phil Nice. Yeah, I just noticed. Oh. Should maybe go for it. Here's a thought do, uh, do my bowmen actually retain the uh, find better things from goodie huts ability? Because they were, or were originally scouts. Possibly. Oh, come now. I want to check my uh, specialties. No, it's just the ignore uh, terrain cost uh -huh. that they retain. Uh, it's a shame. Yeah, it was just a thought. Well, I do believe I'll build me a unit that can uh, go and grab it then. Mm hmm. Definitely worth it, I'd say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, Helsinki will get me a uh, second tribery, so it's good enough uh, to defend my trade routes with. And I mm -hmm. do believe it's worthwhile uh, building the trade ship straight away. Oh, yes, I'll be building a trade ship as soon as my um, lighthouse is done. Mm. Although I just realized. Vilnius is in the most stupid square for us for trading purposes because yep. we need to go all, all the, the way, way around around the, <laughs> around the freaking island. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> ah, dumb placement. Yeah, well, it could be worse, you know. Yeah, there couldn't could have been just empty ocean tiles over there. That would have been really annoying because. Yeah, th that's like the only city state I currently have that I can trade with, uh, with any reasonable security. Aside from Antanarivo, uh, but that's uh, that's land route. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I've got a click next time. And I must apologise to the viewers that if you keep hearing a little popping noise, it's because I'm muting my mic, and that is because I have a cold coming on. And still he's soldiering on and uh, recording Civ 5 for all your viewing pleasure. Bow down to the magnificence that is Dark Raven. I couldn't let you down, Edna. No. Oh. <laughs> it's so sweet. Alright, now I just gotta wait on the computer again. This <laughs> takes so long recently. Yeah. That's the end of turn times. Get. Uh, Get pretty, pretty long. Uh, a part of me is glad that the AI doesn't settle 
as aggressively as it could because the turn times would be worse if it did. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Okay. I have yeah. the opportunity to build the pyramids in London for 19 turns. That's actually a really good idea if Ah, the thing is, it's been uh, possible, like uh, possible for the AI to start building it for so long. I don't know if you'll, you'll get it. But if you could, it would be awesome. Mhm. Mm I'm uh, gonna try for it. Yeah. Uh, God damn it! Uh, can can you hurry production in any way? Like, unfortunately, I just tried, and it was 19 turns either way. Yeah. So, yeah. That's not good. Maybe once my workers are finished, I can then send them up to London and finish improving the iron that I was a newbish enough to <laughs> forget about. <laughs> that sucks. I'm, I'm trying to think of ways that I could help you boost production there, because th that would be awesome get. That, that's mm -hmm. like, what, two, three uh, workers and a quarter faster worker speed for the rest of the game. Exactly. Like, exactly what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, those two workers did just be a wish uh, for them to uh, improve all the tiles over London. Like, mm -hmm. you know, trade posts all over the place and then you'd never ever have money money trouble ever again. <laughs> um, could you possibly do me a favour by sending your composite bowman up to Hastings and dealing with the composite bowman there? Yeah, sure, why not? Because I've got no units, and well, I've got a unit only the spearman, though, and he's in such a good defensive position. Mm -hmm. I'll do that right now. Uh, it's going to, it's not even going to take that long a while because they that one ignores the terrain movement cost, so it's probably mm -hmm. like four turns and he's there. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not at all opposed to killing some barbarians. <laughs> for loot and great justice. Mm -hmm. It's just that then I can start tile improving over there as well. Oh, I'll god help. damn it! I sh uh, just finished improving the citrus. I should have sent it to you straight away. Uh, well, I'll just send it uh, this turn. Yay! Oh, uh, and you're uh, you're in um, in golden age anyway, so it wouldn't matter that much. Right? Yep. No harm. No. Nah. I don't know why my workers decided to go off road. I... <laughs> Maybe they wanted to do something extreme. Yeah, it's like, you know, using them hammers to slide down the mountains and <laughs> <laughs> them stone hammers. <laughs> okay, cargo ship time in Helsinki. Because Vilnius needs our goods and we need Vilnius's goods. Mm hmm. Okay, so yeah, you set off, uh, and it looks like it's going to be, well, I can go here about in five turns. Yeah, that's, that looks good. Uh, let's go there. Here's to hoping that there aren't any uh, melee barbarians just wandering about over there. That would be helpful, but it looks like there's not anything about. Mm. Well, it's improbable that they'd spawn anyway, considering the location of Malacca and Hastings. There's really not that much room for them to start wandering about. Mm -hmm. And Antenna Revo is uh, going to stop being my ally in uh, well, next turn, actually. I'm really tempted to plop a city right to the east of Attila's court. Um, in between the stone, the horses, and the marble. Ah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not a bad place. It's not a bad place, and it would piss him off and all. <laughs> <laughs> ah, added benefits. Exactly. Uh, if you move your composite bowman, then I can get my guys on the road yep. again. Going thereabouts. Going. Seven more turns for the Oracle. I'm really, really, really hoping I get that. I'm really, really hoping you get that as well. Uh, It'll be a big get. 
Oh, uh, finishing the Liberty Tree gives you a free great person. And mer meritocracy would give me uh, minus, uh, minus unhappiness from the number of citizen and plus one happiness for each connected trade route. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't definitely want to get that. I'll call you protecting Nottingham, but thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, you've got all the um, power at the moment. <laughs> I, I will start to get some stuff going, I promise. Uh, well, it's uh, I, I'm kind of an economic player in pretty much all of the, all, all games, like for all forex games, like all sim like games and such. I mm -hmm. tend to try and first gamble a bit with just go getting by with as few military units as possible. Same. Be because that just kind of feels like money wasted unless I am actually using them to protect myself right then and there or killing something. Exactly. So. Tends to uh, work better if... Uh... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Well, he's sitting uh, on uh, Settler in Attila's court and uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that the, that horse ah. archer and the city together won't kill my trireme. I didn't mean to go that close, but I kind of <laughs> misclicked. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder if he's willing to negotiate peace yet. Nope. <laughs> well, he is, but he wants York. That's... Uh, let's toss that citrus your way. Oh, thank you. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, that that'll be funny, you know, the Great Pyramids of London. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the uh, w one of the things that I love to do uh, do most in uh, sim games, like do do the absolutely weirdest crap like, mm -hmm. with with the uh, wonders and whatever. Oh yes. Same deal with like, um, oh, you were historically a landlocked uh, like uh, nation. Hmm, I shall make you a naval power. <laughs> <laughs> Just because, why not? And due to this map, um, instead of Britain being a maritime civilization that we are, we're now a land-based. Yep, but you're still uh, kind of heavily money-oriented from. Uh, the lay of your land, it's uh, it's going to get beastly income wise. Oh, yes. Uh, do I even actually have any horses anywhere? I've forgotten. Nope, not yet. I oh. have access to four. Right, that's not too bad. And a lot more once I get the cities that I want built, but uh, there's really no hurry getting to horseback riding actually, because, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then again, oh, civil yes. service would give us pikemen, which basically murderize the heck out of those horse archers. <laughs> that is true. I'd also like to try and get to um, machinery at some point. Yeah. Uh, and metal casting along the way works really well with my... Um, tendency to go for production. Should we go currency? Uh, engineering would get us to metal casting machinery faster, but currency would fix our economy situation quite well. If we go through metal casting, that's not machinery as well. We need um, both currency and engineering. Oh, right, true. Yeah, metal casting doesn't, doesn't apply. Yeah, currency is definitely the one we should go for first, mm -hmm. I think. I mean, so I love money, money. aqueducts for the faster growth of cities, but yeah, economy is kind of kind of bigger priority right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not hurting for money, but I'm definitely not going to complain about having more of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't blame you. I've got plenty of tiles here in Nottingham to hopefully build Machu Picchu. Oh yeah, that that's a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to 
take Machu Picchu. You've got more trade routes, I believe. Uh, but I don't really know if I have any uh, any cities that are located in a suitable way. Like I, it, does no, it you require don't. a mountain within uh, two squares? It does, yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, no dice. None of my cities are going to be within two squares of the mountain. Actually. Okay. Hmm. There we go. I can start back on my iron. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Well, I can, but I it, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, you know what they say: derp, uh, derp once a day, and the audience is left more amused. <laughs> 29 turns for the Corsus. Let's hope. Yeah. That that would be would be a good get. Oh yes, plus 5 gold. Yep. And, the start. And doesn't it give you bonuses for all your trade routes from York as well? Yes. At least yeah. naval ones. And that's mm -hmm. going to be at least one with Vilnius. Yeah, exactly. It seems like only one and that is to Vilnius, unfortunately, but... Yeah, that probably isn't enough uh, range to get into, for example, Antwerp. No. It's unfortunate. At least not yet. Yeah, the trade range does increase as you get uh, tech ops uh, mm -hmm. quite a lot, but I don't know. Have we figured what kind of victory we're going to go for yet? I had no idea. I was kind of winging it. <laughs> Kill all the things. Uh, yeah, that that sounds about right. Yay! <laughs> I like killing all the things. I, I think we already have our first target. Yeah. Might as well. Okay. Stop panning all over the map. I was trying to zoom to Attila's court, and it went for blah blah. blah. I'm going to go into the fog of war. <laughs> well, I am now at minus three gold. Your unit must That's be in friendly thing. territory in order to upgrade. I think that well, right, right south of Nottingham is really, really friendly towards me, but okay, game. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah, that does look like I need to pull back my uh, warriors uh, to be a car to be, get upgraded. Which is a shame. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Slightly annoying. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, Seek Tuna, you got done with that. Uh, is there anything that I'd really, really like to get right now? Not <laughs> really, no. Huh. Well, this is slightly annoying and weird. Oh, no, 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 no. I need, I need my catapult, obviously. Ah, yes. So, um, it'll take you ages to build that, but why don't you get started? Oh, we got... It doesn't seem like it is coming at us with another charge for a while, at least. Yeah, and even if it is, it's probably... Once we get our upgraded units, it should be a cakewalk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And hopefully for the um, next one, we'll... Bump it up a bit and see if we can beat it next time mm. as well. Although this is going to take a very long time. Yeah, the ideal thing would be to um, just get a couple of uh, catapults uh, done, protect them with the triremes, uh, get them to, like, uh, what's that, so southwest of Attila's Court on the forest and desert tiles and just start bombarding like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's not in the most protected area at all. Nope, that's real easy to get. Uh, multiple ranged units mm -hmm. to pound on that. It's it's not on a hill, it's not next to many hills, it's not next to uh, just one forested tile. Yep. So we can pile up like pretty much however many uh, catapults we want, or bowmen. You can even put a cap catapult on the Plains Hill, you know, mm -hmm. just, wow, yeah, they're, they're not in a good way. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a couple of turns and the bowmen are done. And that's Thank apparently, you. that's actually a city-state quest. Huh, I wonder who wants it killed. Uh, I, I can't be asked to check, but... 
It's probably Malika. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't mind if it was also Antenna Revo or Quebec City, because uh, multiple Quebec. city states, I think, can give you the same quest. It isn't um, Malika, but it is definitely um, Quebec. Good. Hmm. I'm not opposed to getting uh, Maritime City city state bonuses. <laughs> not, not even a tiny little bit. I need to get some more of them bonuses, like, as soon as possible. Uh, unfortunately, I lost Antenna Rio as an ally, but I'm not really going to bump my uh, my income into city-state gifts at this moment. No, um, not yet. Got a lot better use for that money. Probably not right now, but sooner or later I need to start buying things. Mm -hmm. I need to buy that silk tile near Nottingham as soon as possible, it's 95 gold. Oh yeah, definitely need to get the uh, both the money and the uh, happiness that that brings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to explore a bit, oh that, that's Attila's uh, trireme. Ah, damn it, that's uh, my trireme doesn't have any upgrades, it's slightly oh. annoying. It's going to be fair fight. I dislike those. <laughs> I just um, try and get close to your city. You know, you got two trireens there, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yep. Or was it just the one? Yeah, the one got damaged, so I need to uh, needed to pull him back to bear cover for heals. Right. Oh, okay. Um. 14 turns for the pyramids. Yep. Two more for my oracle. And I, I'm actually just going to get a policy mm. before that. That's going to that's nice. going to be nice. Now I just need to decide uh, which policy tree to actually open up with the one I get from the oracle. Should I get it? <laughs> Let's hope you do. I think I believe in you. Ah, it's good that one of us does. <laughs> <laughs> I need to believe in you because you're my army strength at the moment. <laughs> oh, we have actually uh, just reached the thirty-minute mark. So, uh, well, what do you say we call the uh, call the episode once uh, once it finishes loading up? Sounds good to me. There we go. Ding. So, uh, yep, thank you guys for watching and join us again next time when we finish at least one wonder, hopefully two, and uh, get some social policies and all that other good stuff. So, yep, uh, see you later. Bye for now. Cheers.